Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Grassy Key, located on US-1, better known as the Overseas Highway, is one of the northernmost islands in a chain of islands that comprise the city of Marathon, Florida. The island, or key as the islands are called in parts of Florida, hosts many oceanside and bayside resorts as well as quite a few private residences. This area offers some of the world's finest fishing for several species. And Bill's host for this trip is his good friend, Captain Rich Tudor, another popular TV fishing show host. Rich is also a member of the Quantum Pro staff. Today, he and Bill are teamed up with Bob Bagby, Vice President of Marketing at Zepco Brands, for a fun day of fishing. But during the time this illustrious trio spends together today, one of angling's toughest feats will be accomplished multiple times. Sheer proof of just how great the fishing can be here, especially during the fall of the year. Let's watch. Well, Rich, you've always told me the fall of the year is the best time to come because yep. of the multitude of species that you can catch. Well, what can we expect today? We've got all the options. We, you know, you're really blessed with the ultimate weather of calm, blue sky, um, great tides right on the full moon. So if we get lucky, we might catch all three, bonefish, permit, and tarpon. That's the, uh, the grand slam, and that's the tough, tough thing to do. Are these new reels? Well, it's actually a new size. It's Catalyst Inshore in a 50 size. So it's this real small body, great big spool, about a 12-ounce reel, holds a ton of 20-pound line, great kind of intermediate size for everything we're going to do down here. Similar to the Energy uh, 50 we had a couple of years ago. Yeah, right. Yeah, except in a bigger capacity. So you said <clears throat> we're going for tarpon early, and then when the sun gets up, that's right. we're going to hit the flats. That's right. Sounds great. We'll see what we can catch. Let's go, boys. Good match for a prettier morning. All the water you know, fun funnels around these islands and then has to go through these bridges. And then that's, of course, where the uh, bait's going to dump out. And this mullet area have to go across there, and the big fish and tarpon are waiting along those channels. So from Gracie Key up back up toward the bridge, right yep. in this area? Yeah. Any one of those channels is a perfect ambush spot for those big tarpon. Throw it right in there, real. Set it, set it hard. Hit him again. Hit him again. That one he jumped. Nice job, Bill. Awesome. There he is. Nice fish. Whew. That was a good bite, huh? <laughs> Look at him up there, right? Boat. Awesome stuff. He's gonna jump right here for us. Right here. Nice job, Bill. Oh. <laughs> you under? You under? Yeah. Go around. <laughs> <laughs> that that drag on that pin on. Boy, it's a smooth drag. Amazing what a difference. Nice. They do a good job on their drag system. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's the size you wanted, right? That's the size I want. <laughs> Acrobatic, but not, not, not enough to give you a sore back at the end of the day. You like that size, do you? <laughs> I'm going to bring him right back into you. Nice job. There you go. Well, that's pretty the fast. strength they have is unbelievable. Man, that's perfect for you, Bill. That's about a 50 pounder. That's exactly right. Isn't that pretty? Size fish we want right there. That's yes, sir. Now those guys are, you know, just chewing on those mullet and pilchards and everything else that comes through here. But they're really, I think that this size fish and up to those, you know, 100 some pounders are, are following those schools of mullet wherever they're going. Yep. Up and down the coast of Florida. Nice. All right. Say goodbye. Say bye. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana, with marinas in Buras, Myrtle Grove, Point of Lahash, Empire, and Venice.
Oh, he's... It must be a little barracuda or something. Real, real. Keep reeling. I know. Okay, real. Jam it in. Jam it. Jam it some more. Jam it some more. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. That's a hundred pounder. That's a big one. Oh. That's yeah, a big one. Let me get out of the way. That's a toad. Oh, he won't quit. Oh, oh yeah. What a jump. Look at another jump. That is a slob. <laughs> oh, two great jumps right there. And then again. There he is. Oh. I tell you what, that fish has got to be tired because I'm more out watching. <laughs> Look at that drag. Still taking it. Yeah, and I'm clamping for all I'm worth. Oh. It's interesting. He looked like after the first couple jumps, yeah, he looked, on top of water. looked like he was going to give up. I know. Now he's got a second one. That's just a large fish. I think once we get him up here and roll him over, we're gonna discover that he's he's bigger than we thought. There he is, full grown there. Oh, that is a pig. He gets bigger the closer he gets. Yeah, he does. Oh, I'm proud of you, baby. You got a monster yeah. fish. Yeah, that's that. That, that fish is. Between 100 and 150 pounds. That's a big fish. And I'd say closer to the 150. He's fat. Under, under, I gotta go. I gotta go. What a that is a toad. Nice job, Bob. Nice job. Look at that big one. Wow. That is a monster fish. Lay him up there on the water and let's Bob, take a look at it. Why don't you pull, pull that out? Look at the girth on that guy. Nice job, Bob. Well done, my brother. <laughs> nice job, man. That was awesome. That was Way to awesome. go, brother. I don't know who's more tired. Hey. Me or that critter. Hey. I'd say it's you. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a boy tired. Oh. <laughs> you and that old redneck hat, you did good, uh, did you? What, how's that for some fall fishing, boys? Uh, I think that deer hunt sitting did in good, the trees boy. is a you little did less good. Uh, stressful. That's good. Woo! What a fish. Our trio of fishermen initially came to this spot because Rich had some tarpon located here. But since the sun had gotten up higher enough to be able to see permit, Rich suggested they give them a try. Look at that. Look at that. Flashing. See the rolls? Mm -hmm. The flashes. Look at them. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. That's all permit too, isn't it? That's all permit, go. Alright, here's a fish coming. Big fish. I think it's going to be a permit. Yep, they're multiple permits. You got them? I think he's eating it, he's eating it, he's eating it. Start reeling. Start reeling, Bill. Nice, you got him, nice job. Oh. Reel, 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 reel. <laughs> reel, 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 reel. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Now it's You got a great eye for that. I'm gonna tell you, I, I could just see a little dark spot. I try to keep him off the bottom. So he doesn't, he'll get you wrapped on a coral head or something on the bottom. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Woo! How about that? That is neater than neat. <laughs> That's a good sized fish, too. I watched him come over and gobble that thing. Oh, you got a good eye for that. <laughs> nice job. Today's show is sponsored in part by Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Mahindra Tractors, the world's number one selling tractor. And by Motor Guy, never stop. Today's equipment log is sponsored by Lowrance and the all-new Elite 7 HDI. The large 7-inch wide format hybrid dual imaging system features both downscan imaging and broadband sounder and delivers a true view of what's beneath the boat.
first permit you ever hooked? That's the first one. No, it's not the first one I ever hooked. Uh -huh. Well, hopefully it'll be the one you get a hold of. Now, there, his, his, his technique here is going to be to try to get you down and break you off on the bottom if you can. That's his technique. Mm -hmm. Technique is a strong one. Look, there's a whole bunch of them swimming with your fish, too. There is. A whole big school. Bob, you can uh, try to get another one if you, if you want. There's, look at them all. Built. There's hundreds of them in here. Will they stick see around? Maybe. Can you see them all? Oh, yeah. Good. Hundreds Gosh, of them. look at all the permits. Hundreds of them. He wants to stay with them. There was hundreds of permits that exploded. Will they stay in this area? Yep. We're kind of messing them up now, but they'll be around. See the sharks cruising around them too? Oh, that's great. Yeah, he puts his... I don't palm it too much. He'll pop you off. They, uh, they're really strong. Be careful right around the trolling motor. Make sure you... Because they'll try to make a move under the boat. That's another one of their techniques to try to get you. That big V tail, they got the power, don't they? There you go! <laughs> <laughs> Your first permit, huh? Huh? That's awesome, man. That's the first one. <laughs> That's cool stuff, huh? That thing is slick as country butter, isn't it? Yeah, man. Huh? It's like an offshore fish. See that tail, big V tail, like a like a sailfish tail or yeah. a dolphin fish? Or... Yeah. <laughs> nice how big, job. How big is that one? Oh, he's probably... 15 pounds or so. Wow. Nice average size permit down here. And there was like a hundred of them in that school. I saw them all swimming with him. Beautiful. He was trying to stay with the school. That's the most prized fish on the flats in all the world. Well, that's permit. my first one. That's awesome. And you can see it, that they're, they're, they're tricky. We eat with all those fish and we had to make a bunch of casts and finally Man, made Man, I tell you what, it's an art to it. It is. Will he find that school? He probably will. There he goes. All right. Congratulations Thank you, on this fish. That was awesome. Good job. Wow, let's go see if we can find another one. I like that. <laughs> hey, there they are right back there. Here. Yeah, that's them. Put it right in front of them. You should be good, man. Let it drift slowly. Uh, he's good. natural. Oh, you got him. Nice job. Oh. Well First done. First freaking cast. Well done. Way to go. Right. That's what a good drag was made for as a permit. What are you gonna do with him? I don't know. <laughs> so far he's he's doing whatever he wants to do. That's so cool to see him floating there, right? <laughs> now if we'd had the clouds like it that just came over right there, we wouldn't have seen him. You've never timing seen him, would you? Was, was just, there he is. The clouds just moved in. Come on, baby. Here he comes. Maybe this oh, time. Oh, yeah, look at him. Nice Maybe job, this Bob. time. Nice job, Mr. Baggy. Oh, there you go. How about that? <laughs> look at that baby. <laughs> wow. That's cool, man. Let me that see. Is very cool. Look at that big eye. Look, right there in the corner of the mouth. You do. It doesn't All take right. much to set the hook on it. Really just uh, that come is up so there. cool. Watch that crap. Yeah, look at that. All right. Way to go, boy. Good fishing there. I'm ready to go. Today's dancing lesson is sponsored by Mystic Lubricants. No matter the machine, Mystic's got a full line of products specifically formulated to dominate performance, conditions, and competition. Sheep heads are found literally anywhere. There's oysters, barnacles, and bottom structure. They feed on crustaceans like small crabs and shrimp. Almost any pier, bridge piling, or oyster bar can be home to a school of these professional bait stealers. Also, rock jetties that protect inlets from tidal silt are among the most productive areas, and these structures can be found near most inlets up and down the coast. Today's show is sponsored in part by 
Grand Slam, Mono and Braid. Big fish tough for when the money's on the line. Low Ranch and their all new Elite 7 Hybrid Dual Imaging Series. And by Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination. Well, it looks like Bill's well on his way here to a possible Key West Grand Slam. Anglers in this area often try their hands at something that's very difficult to accomplish. Catching three specific species in one outing. A tarpon, a permit, and a bonefish. If they're successful, it's considered a grand slam. Bill has the tarpon and the permit. So can he corral a bonefish to earn the award? Rich suggests they move on down the beach and give it a try. Real, 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 real. Is that the hook? Good. Real, 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 real. There we go. I, I just had one on. Yep. You can double if you get in there. Wow. Nice job, Bill. Right. That's your slam, man. <laughs> That's your grand slam right there. Come on, baby. Look at him all out That's in there. Right there. All right. That is awesome. I tell you what, there was a pile of them with you. There was. Nice right, job, good. Bill. Bring him on over here. Powerful guy, isn't he? I'll tell you. <laughs> Put up here a little bit. You just got a grand slam today, Mr. Bill Dan. Yeah. I'll stay a pretty little bit. How about that? Tom showed me he a is secret. Bored. Hold them upside down like that, they don't jump around. They get sleepy? Yeah. What are they is that right? Yeah. Just holding him upside down? Yep. We turn him over there, he go crazy. How about that, huh? You just caught a grand slam today. That's, 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 that's the head move. Robert! That's awesome, man. <laughs> and then, when, you're, that when, when you're ready to release him, you turn him over and he'll jump like crazy. Go ahead and hold him back in the water. Beautiful. Get him over the water and give him that revive like you did that permit there. Hold him down in the water. All right. Hold him down in the water and then slowly turn him over. Aren't you ready? There you go. Give him a little refi. There, there he is. <laughs> there he is in the water. Take him out from the way. Nice job. Congratulations. <laughs> That's awesome, man. You just accomplished the uh, one of the, the, the toughest feats in all of fishing, a flat grand slam. Tarpon. Got bone, tarpon. Permit. The grand slam in one day. That's as good as it gets, man. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. They're going that way. Go to the right of them. Tip high, slide it, 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 and fall. Start reeling. Tip high, 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 high. Real, 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 real. Let him go. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna spin the boat around. Do you deal there, Bagby? He'll run. He'll run all around here. So you gotta be careful. Nice look at this. How about that? It's a bum fish. Cool. Got you tarpon. You got your permit? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, too. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Don't be too proud until I land. Me. Hold them right in the water. There. He's going to let two do his deal. Get him nice and I'm not even getting near him. Those things are Let me strong. Have it I got it. Woo! Good job, my man. Whoa! Absolutely. Nice job, brother. Right. How about that? Look at him just laying there. I touched him. He's caught. Nice job, buddy. How about that? Bonefish permit tarp. He was touched. Good, Good job, deal. buddy. Good job. Way to go. Awesome. That's pretty special stuff, gentlemen. Pretty special stuff. Well, as often happens, we run out of air time long before we run out of fun time. So for today, we'll just leave our fishermen still doing what they love best. Next week, we'll pick up close to where we're leaving off today and finish out this trip with Bob, Bill, and Rich in our next show titled Grand Slam Part 2. Be sure not to miss it. Today's surfing email is sponsored by Sea Tow, your road service at sea. While boating, have complete peace of mind knowing the country's premier on-water service provider is standing by 24-7 on the coast and inland lakes and rivers. Is it true that the Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on Earth? It is true. 
covering 1,429 miles in length, the Great Barrier Reef off Australia spans an area larger than Britain and can be seen from space. It's made up of 400 species of coral, supports well over 2,000 different fish, 4,000 species of mollusks, and countless other invertebrates. Now for this week's Bill Dance Saltwater Travel Log. Grassy Key is located at Marathon in the Florida Keys and is about an hour's drive north of the Key West International Airport. We'd like to thank our good friends Captain Rich Tudor, another popular TV fishing show host, and Captain Derek Rusk for their expert help with today's show. Beautiful Gulf View Waterfront Resort generously provided our accommodations for this fun trip. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.